This conference will now be recorded. In today's class, we'll discuss about parameter, PBIT file, PBX file, and template files. Template files. Let me open the notepad. Today we will discuss about first parameters. Once after parameters, we will discuss about PBAT file and PBX file. Let me open Power Query to discuss parameters. Go to Power Query, Home tab, Transform Data, and let's bring some tables. Click on Excel. I'll bring some tables from Sample Superstore. Right. So I'll give one example for parameters. We'll use parameters in Power BI service also. What is the use of parameters? will came to know in the coming classes also for now i'll just give one example about parameters when we will use parameters and when you go to the parameters there are some options like new parameter edit parameter manage parameters what these options i'll discuss today so example is when we need to go with parameters is let me give move the first row to header here Let's take an example. I have 10 tables here. Let me quickly duplicate orders table. Right click on it. You have an option called what? Duplicate. I'm just doing. So let's say I have multiple tables. So I have multiple tables here. And I want to filter the data in the all tables. And I want to load only region central data. Region equal to which data? central data currently in all the tables whatever i have here the tables contains how many regions data means four regions data all the tables have four regions data currently All the all the tables have a four regions data. The requirement is in all the tables I need to load only central data into Power Pivot. I need to filter the data and I need to load only central data. How to do that is you need to go to each table and you need to go to a column called region column. In the region column, you need to apply the filter. Text filters equals to central region. Press OK. Go to the second table region text filters equals to central and i need to go to other table wherever we have region i need which region data means only central data region equal to central and then go to the orders three table go to region column and apply the filter equals to central and lastly go to orders four table go to the region column and write the filter condition text filters equals to central right now when i click on close and apply in all the tables which region data it will load into power pivot central click on close and apply when i click on close and apply in all the tables it will load only central data into power pivot once after loading the central data client is telling that this time in all the tables i don't want central data i want east data in all the tables, I don't want central data, I want east data. If you go and check the tables now, in all the tables, when I go and check it, how many regions data you'll have is only one region data called what? Central. In the people's table also, if you go and check it, you have only one table called what? One region called central. Now, client is telling that I don't want central data, I want east region data. When you want east region data, you need to go to Power Query. You need to go to Power Query. And in the Power Query, in all the tables, you need to change the filter condition. 
you need to go to each table you need to go to the step where you apply the filter condition there is a settings icon you can click on that gear icon instead of central you want to change it to what east in each and every table you need to go and do that so in each and every table going and changing it will take time so instead of doing like this we can even filter the data using a parameter guys we can even filter the data using what parameter first you can create one parameter initially your client is asking to load which region data central data to the parameter initially give the value called what central and filter the data in all the tables using the parameter so once you filter the data in all the tables using a parameter tomorrow when client is telling that i don't want central data in all the tables i want east data you no need to go and change the filter condition in all the tables you just change which value parameter value instead of central you can select what here east when you change the parameter value all the places wherever this parameter is used that value will change guys so i'm just giving one example about parameter here parameters we will even use in other cases also you will came to know one example currently what is the use of parameters whenever i need to apply the same filter condition in many places whenever we need to apply the same filter condition many places and if you think that the filter condition will change in the future and if you think the filter condition will change in the future better to filter the data now using parameters in this scenario whenever we need to apply the same filter condition in many places i want to apply a filter condition region equal to central in many tables and that filter condition might change in the future from central to east so instead of if you directly apply the filter condition using a hard coded value central you need to go to all the places and you need to change the filter condition now look at this here in our case we filter the data using a hard coded text so we can filter the data using a hard coded text as well as what parameter so here in this scenario we are filtering the data based on hard coded text when you filter the data based on hard coded text you need to change in all the places so when you want east data we need to go to each table and we need to change the filter condition you need to go here and we need to select east here and then go to people's table and change the filter condition to what east go to the orders to table change the filter condition to east you need to do it in many places you need to go to all the tables you need to change it instead of that this time so whenever we need to apply the same filter condition in many places and if you think that the filter condition will change in the future better filter the data using using parameters case in this case now let me show you how i can filter the data using a parameters so first i need to create one parameter here how to create a parameter is go to the home tab there is an option called parameters in the parameters you have an option called new parameter i need to create a new parameter now and you can give any name to the parameter i'll give the parameter name as region parameter and you can write some description to this parameter or you are creating this parameter what is the use of it if you want you can write it it's optional and uh, i have a checkbox here required we'll discuss what is that required and there is type when you go to the type you need to choose the data type in the region parameter we are planning to assign central here central is what data type text you need to select the data type here as what text and in the suggested value you have any value list of values and query we'll discuss the difference between them for now i am going with a suggested value called what any value and what is the current value for the region parameters initially client is asking to load what data 
central so there is a checkbox required right required means mandatorily you need to provide the current value so sometimes initially i want to leave the parameter value as blank when i leave the blank when i press ok is it allowing no why it is not allowing is the required checkbox is selected when the required checkbox is selected it will not allow the blank value for the parameter must and should it you need to provide some value here when you uncheck this when i press ok it will allow it will allow this time so i will check this must and should i need to give one parameter value what is the parameter value we are giving central just press ok guys you created one parameter and we are giving a value called central now now to filter the data in the tables we know that one way to filter the data in the tables is go to the region column one way to filter the data is text filters equals to we can pass a hard coded text or we can filter the data using what parameter so if you want to load central data you can pass a hard coded text abc means a hard coded text or we can we can pass what parameter what is the parameter here region parameter currently region parameter contains what value central now when i press okay which data it will show in this central data it will show what data it will show is central data it will show fine in the same way in all the tables this time instead of filtering the data using a hard coded text we will filter using what parameter region parameter and it will show central data go to every table just filter the data using parameter here go to this table also and filter the data using parameter right so we are filtering the data using region parameter now every table is showing which region data central now if the client is asking i don't want central data in all the tables i need east data you no need to go to each table you no need to change it where you need to change it is you need to change only parameter value how to change the parameter value is go to the manage parameter click on edit parameter whenever we need to change the parameter value you need to click on edit parameter guys now i need to go to manage parameter click on edit parameter currently what value you have central i'll change it to what east when i change it to east when i press okay go and check the tables this orders table will show what data now east people's table show what data east so every table will show east data when you change it in one place all the places that change is applicable here all right now let's say in all the tables i want again central data you need to change the parameter value how to change the parameter value edit parameter in all the tables i want what data central press okay when i press central okay is it showing any data in this table in the people's table no why case sensitive we know that text filters are what case sensitive so here the problem is while creating the parameter i can go to manage parameter so whenever we need to make any changes to the existing parameter i already created this parameter using which option new parameter option whenever we need to make any configuration changes to this parameter you need to go with an option called manage parameter whenever we need to change the parameter value we need to go to edit parameter now i want to make some configuration changes to the existing parameter to make the configuration changes to the existing parameter we need to go with manage parameters we need to go with what manage parameters go here click on manage parameters so in this parameter while creating this parameter you selected suggested value as what any value any value means we need to type the values manually we need to type the values manually so when you are typing the values manually we'll do two types of mistakes sometimes we'll give the wrong spelling wrong spelling sometimes we might write in the wrong case so that uh, it will not filter the data properly to avoid that uh, there is a second option here while creating the parameter there is a second option what list of values you can previously define what are the list of regions you have and when you are changing the any region we can select from the list any value means we need to manually type it we need to manually type it so while typing manually there is a chances to do the mistakes 
So here you need to correct it. So you just need to go to edit parameter and here you need to make capital C. Then you will see central data here. Now we are seeing what? Central data. So instead of while changing the parameter value, instead of typing here like central, east, so when you type it, there is a chance to write mistakes also. Why don't you have a drop down here? Why don't you select the regions from this? For that purpose, what you need to do is you need to go and make the changes to this parameter, configuration changes. How to make the configuration changes? Manage parameters. I need to make changes to this region parameter. Instead of any value, this time I'll go with what? List of values and I'll select what are the different regions we have. Initially itself, central, east, south, west. These are the four regions I have. I just selected these four regions. And what is the default value? Central. What is the current value? Central. I'm just selecting. If you don't select any value, the default it need to take central. Current value also I'm taking as central. Just press OK. Now, all the tables will show central data now. Now, I want to show in all the tables east region data. For that, you need to change the parameter. To change the parameter value, you need to go to edit parameter. This time, you don't need to type it. You need to click on this drop down button. So you given what are the list of values you are seeing here, right? You can just click on what? East press OK. Now in all the tables, you'll see which region data? East region data. This time, whenever you think that you might type some wrong one, better to go with which option means list of values and you can write uh, the list there. Let's say I want to filter the data in all the tables this time, not based on the region column, based on the state column, not based on the region column, based on state column. How many states you have? 49 states you have guys. Totally how many states you have is 49 states. In all the tables this time, I don't want to filter the data based on region. I need to filter the data based on the state guys. When you want to filter the data based on the state, I just want to go here, state column, and how many different states we have is 49 states I have. Here, again manually filtering, filtering the data, when you are applying the filter, we can pass a hard-coded text or a parameter. So better, if you think that it will, the filter condition will change in the future, better to filter the data using a parameter. I can create a parameter, state parameter. How to create a state parameter? Go to manage parameter, click on new parameter we can write what state parameter state parameter when you select the state parameter here and required select the checkbox data type text when i go with any value sometimes i might write the wrong mistake uh, wrong spelling like while typing here i might type a wrong case or wrong spelling so but when i go to list of values how many states you have 49 states going and entering 49 states manually will take time so when you have more values see region means four values we given the list of values easily state means almost 49 states you have manually entering them will take time whenever you have more values the time rather than going with list of values better to go with what query there is another option called query guys so you can even go with a query let me show you how to go with a query so you can get the list easily when you go with the query you'll get the list easily how to get the list easily is first bring the uh, orders table one more time state column is available in the orders table bring the orders table one more time click on excel sample superstore orders i want to prepare one list first so understand here this time i am planning to go with uh, i'm planning to create a new parameter state parameter in this i'm planning to go with what query first i need to prepare one query first i need to prepare one query that query need to have distinct states that query need to have what distinct states for that how to prepare the query i'm showing now currently have i prepared any query here no i need to prepare one query here how to prepare a query is bring the orders table one more time click on excel sample superstore 
bring the orders table one more time just press ok you got the orders table here once after bringing the orders table in this orders table i don't want all the columns i just want only one column what is that column state column right click on it remove other columns in the state column also i don't want all the states i want distinct states how to remove the duplicates right click on the column remove duplicates when you remove the duplicates how many states you have 49 states so we prepared one query that query contains distinct states now try to go and create the parameter new parameter and which parameter state parameter and data type is text query again it is not showing the query so you you prepared one query called orders five query it, it need to show here why it is not showing is now the values are in the table format all these values are in the table format when you have in the table format it will not show guys you need to convert this table format to list format we need to convert the table format to list form the states i need to convert into one list format how to convert this column to the list format is select the state column go to the transform tab there is an option called what convert to list we need to convert them to the list of values then only you can use it when i click on convert to list now all the states got converted to which format list format now go and create the parameter now go here click on new parameter parameter name is what state parameter state parameter <clears throat> what is the data type text so this time i'm going i'm not going with any value because of i want to type the values i might type wrongly i'm not even going with the list of values why because i need to type lot of state names we're going with what query already you prepared the query called what orders five and what is the current so just you can give one state name initially i can just give for now new york just press ok guys now currently you got one state parameter in the state parameter what state you have new york now i want to filter the data in all the tables using that state column guys go to the state apply the filter text filter is equal to this time i need to filter with what parameter which parameter state parameter okay so which state data it is showing new york like this go to all the tables and filter state data right it will show new york data now client is telling that i don't want new york data in all the tables i need texas data so how to change the filter condition now you need to go to edit parameters whenever we need to change the parameter value you need to go to where edit parameters just go here click on edit parameter so which parameter we need to change state parameter instead of new york see all the list you are seeing right here yes so we, we are not entering them we are getting all the list here so which one now texas you can just go and select a texas case fine what we can do is let's see is there any way where we can sort this in ascending order or descending order select the list before you convert it to the list uh, somewhere it shows right let me select this fine so here you are you are finding another transform where you have what sorting sorting either the list values in ascending order or descending order we sorted it based on what ascending order so that referring it is easy now i need to change the parameter value to change the parameter value you need to go to where guys edit parameter this time which state texas i can just go and select uh, texas here when i press ok now go to the table which data you will see here which state data texas data so in, in this table also you will see which state data means texas data right like this we understand so i just given one scenario when we need to use the parameters case so we know how to create the parameter to create the parameter click on new parameter how to change the parameter value is edit parameter so if you want to make any configuration changes to the existing parameter you need to make it with 
manage parameter while creating the parameter also we understand all the options here so every option we understand any value list of values query let's say i want to create a parameter based on product name guys based on product name so you have a lot of products dozens of products hundreds of products are there what is the best way you need to create a parameter using what query when you have more values can i go and go with any value typing that is difficult list of values so you can plan with what query so fine we understand about parameters next one is what once after parameters pb80 file and pbx file let's understand they will ask you in the interview what is pb80 file and what is pbx file pbit file full form is power bi template file what is the full form for pbit file is power bi template file and next one is pbx file power bi file pbx full form is power bi file right so to explain this i'll just close this power query software i'll open a new one i just don't want this many tables here to explain it i'll just open a power bi desktop software i'll just go to power query click on transform data observe carefully important so if you are not concentrating you cannot understand this i open power query i'll bring some tables click on excel sample superstore once after bringing the tables orders table people's table and returns table i'll transform the data in the tables click on close and apply loaded the data into power pivot and i'll create some visuals once after loading the tables we'll establish the relationships and then we'll go to report view we'll create some visuals roughly i'll create only one visual here some category wise sales i'll show in the pie chart i'll just show category wise sales drag the category and drag the sales fine so i want to move this report from power bi desktop to power bi service to move the report from power bi desktop to power bi service what you need to do first so one way go to home tab click on before you publish what you need to do you need to save it you need to save it click on save save it in the desktop and you need to give the name and below that you need to save the file as .pbx and .pb so we can give the name first i will save it in the pbx format which format we are saving pbx just i am saving in my desktop here you have two file types one you can save it in the pbx format pbx full form is what power bi file second you can save it in the pb80 format full form is power bi template file first time i will save it in the pbx format desktop click on save right once you save it you can publish it so we save the file in which format means pbx guys so we can even save the file in the pb80 format also just observe here i can even save the file in the pb80 format file i'll click on what save as desktop this time i'll save this file as not pb80 extension i'll save it as what pb80 i'm saving in desktop guys click on save it is asking when you save it in the pb80 format it will ask some template definition so it's an optional if you want you can give it or else just press ok now one power bi file one time i saved it in the pbx format second time we saved it in the pb80 format pb80 format you can just close this guys so one time we saved it in which format pb80 format second time we saved it in pbx format now we need to understand what a pb80 file will contains what pbx file will contains let me write here pb80 file will contains only report definition report 
definition and pbat file pbx file contains both report definition plus data report definition is nothing but metadata meta data or report definition pbx file will contains both report definition plus data <clears throat> what is the meaning is let's take any table here i'm just opening one table here in this table this column names we call it as metadata this column names we call it as what metadata and below that column name you have the data right this is data table contains what metadata plus data so when you store the file in the pbat format that pbat file will contains what only what metadata pbx file will contains what both metadata plus data so when you load some tables into the power pivot so i, I extracted some tables i transformed the data and i loaded the tables to power pivot and once after loading the tables you are saving this file when you save the file we have two options one is pbx when you save the pbx it will save table columns as well as data when you save it in the pbat format it will save only what metadata it will store only metadata metadata i'll discuss guys for, for now just try to understand which one will be more size pbx will more size or pbat is more pbx file size is more why because it will even contains what data now just go and check the file size of pbat and pbx when i go to pbat file when i click on properties what is the file size you have 16 kb just 16 kb when i go to pbx when i go to properties what is the size 16 kb is pbat 688 kb is pbx see how much difference is there right uh, so so that you can understand here pbx file contains what data also metadata plus data so here the question is when to store the file in the pbat format when to store the file in the pbx format so default default is what pbx default is pbx guys when you try to store <clears throat> any power bi report default is pbx when you store in the default you'll get what report definition plus data metadata plus data so when you need to, so if you want to publish the report from power bi desktop to the power bi service if you want to publish the report from power bi desktop to power bi service must and should you need to store it in pbx format only guys so power bi will support power bi service will support what files means only pbx files that means you need to publish the report with data as well as metadata it will not support pbat file then what is this pbat file in what scenarios we will store the pbat file so what is that pbat file is sometimes we need to share the file to one place to another place we need to move a power bi file from one place to another place or we need to share there are two developers working in one project there is one project in the project developer one is working developer two is working is both developers are working in the same project so developer one developer one report from last one week developer one developer one report for last one week and he is going on leave for coming some 10 days guys even though he is working in the report developer one is working in on a report for one week the report was not completely developed so but he is going to leave he is planning to hand over this work to which developer developer two so he need to share that power bi file whatever the work he have done so far he need to hand over that work to developer two guys when he want to hand over that power bi work he need to save that power bi file he need to save the power bi when he save the power bi file in the pbx format pbx format the file size will more file size will what more so sharing the file with more size is not that easy in the mail or using teams we cannot share it when the file size is more 
So this developer will have other option to save the file. What is that? PB8. When you save the PB8, it will just have table definitions or report definitions. It is easy to move guys. You can share it. Right? So when we will store the file in the PB8 format is to move the file from one place to other place easily, we can store the file in which format? PB80 format to move the file to move the file from one place <coughs> one place to another place easily will save in PB80 format case PB80 format when you store in the PB80 format, the file size will be less case. Why? Because the PB80 file contains what? Only report definitions. But if you store it in the PBX format, it will have report definition plus data. It is very. Uh, it will have more size than PB80 file. Moving that is difficult. In the real time, we will be dealing with lot of data here, guys. Might be you will have a SQL Server database with 10 GB data. You are starting developing the reports on 10 GB data. When you bring the 10 GB data to Power Query, when you load the data into Power Pivot, in the Power Pivot data will be compressed, guys. I will discuss when we start Power Pivot module, I'll discuss how the data will be compressed. When you load the data from Power Query to Power Pivot, the data size will compress to 1 by 10th of source data. How the data size will compress to 1 by 10th of source data, we'll discuss. When you load 10 GB data into Power Pivot, the size will come to what? 1 GB. How that size will come to 1 GB we'll discuss. When you load 10 GB data, when developer 1 developed a report, when we save the file in the PBX format, the file size will be more than 1 GB. More than 1 GB. So sh sharing the 1 GB file through mails or through chart windows, it is not possible. So that is the reason we will not store in which format? PBX. Instead of storing in the PBX format, we will store in which format? When I store in the PB80 format, that file will contains only metadata, column names. So it will just be 16 KB to 20 KB. Maximum it is how much? So you can easily attach that in the mail and you can share it. Right. We understand whenever we need to publish the report from Power Bay Desktop to Power Bay Service, must and should you need to save it in which format? PBX. So if you want to move the file from one place to another place, what is the best format to store? Now what I'll do is I'll just go to so I said that PB80 file will contains report definition guys. Report definition means it will contains connection to the source file. You save the report in the PB80 format. Except data, everything will be there. In this, what you will not have data. Remaining all the things will be there. You bought in this PB80 file, you connected to which data source? Excel. Excel connection information will be there. Excel connection information will be there. And once after bringing the tables to Power Query, if you did any transformation, that transformation code will be there. Once after loading the data from Power Query to Power Pivot, that modeling code will be there. And once you create the visuals, visual code will be there. What is missing in the PB80 means data. When you store the file in the PBX format, PBX format will have connection to the Excel file. And all the ETL code it contains, all the modeling code it contains, all the visuals it contains, even in the PBX file, in the tables you will even have what? Everything will be there here. Now I'll ask one question here. I'll just go to D drive. This is the file which I used to create PB80 file or PBX file, right? I'll just remove this file from here. I'll just remove this file from this folder. I'll move it to my desktop guys now when i go to the source files folder do you have sample superstore here no now i'll just go and open pbx file or I, first i'll open pb80 file just tell me when i open the pb80 file can i see the data in the visual yes or no when i double click on it when i try to open i created one visual with the name what category wise sales in that visual will i see the data means just let it open. We are opening a PB80 file. When we try to open, PB80 file will contains only report definition. I said that PB80 file will not have any data in it. 
it will have only report definition report definition is nothing but file path so this pbit file as it does not contains data every time when you open this pbit file using the report definition it will go to the source excel file it will try to bring the data do you have the excel file in this path no we removed it right so that is the reason you will not see any data here in the pbit file you will not see any data let me close this let me close this now let me open pbx file now tell me guys when i open the pbx file will you see the data in the visual yes why you will see the data in the visual means pbx file will contains what report definition already you loaded some data right even the data will be there in the file now you will comfortably see the data in the visual guys we are seeing what category wise sales category wise sales now we'll do one thing i'll just replace this file in the same folder here i'm placing the file here when you place the file now when i go and open pbx file pb80 file now will it show the data pb80 file will it show the data now it will show the data how it will show the data this time means pb80 file will store report definition right report definition means file path etl code modeling code all the visuals every code will be there so this time into the pb80 file it will bring the data every time when you open any pb80 file it will go to the source and it will bring the data guys it will go to the source and it will bring the data how it will go to the source is using report definition pb80 file contains what report definition this report definition will help pb80 file to bring the data right now when i go and open this pb80 file here this time that pb80 file with the help of report definition it will go to the source it will bring the data look at this now it is go it will go to the source now when i open it it is going to which tables source tables like orders people's returns it will bring the data it will do all the modeling work what we have and it will even show the data in the visual is it showing the data here means yes it will show we're able to show what here category wise sales so even though when you save the pb80 file while saving it will store what only report definition but when you open the pb80 file using the report definition it will go to the source it will bring the data and it will show the data in the report so we are telling that when developer 1 created one report when you want to share that report with developer 2 developer 1 can save the report in which format pb80 format the best format to save it is what pb80 format and then he can share that report with developer 2 easily once you share the report to developer 2 developer 2 when he open the report the report will have report definition right using the report definition it will go to the sources it will bring the data and it will show it so developer 2 will resume the work developer 1 developed a report for 7 days of time but it was not completed he completed only 90% of work he saved that file in the pb80 format he shared with the developer 2 now developer 2 open it when he open even though we saved it in the pb80 format when the developer 2 open the pb80 file will it get the data he will get the data using what report definition he will get the data using what report definition so the pb80 file contains report definition that report definition will go to the sources and it will bring the data to the report and he can see the 90% of development work and he can complete remaining 10% of work is and let's say developer 1 have the access to the source but developer 2 does not have the access to the source when developer 2 does not have the access to the source when he open the pb80 file can he see the data generally when both the developers are working for same project both the people will have the access to the same source case i said that both the developers are working for same project that means developer 1 developer 2 will have the access to what source so when they have the access to the source when we store in the pb80 format when we share them he can even see the data for some reasons when developer 2 doesn't have the access to the source when he open the pb80 file he does not see the data right so we clearly understand what is pb80 file and pbx file so in interview you just need to answer pb80 file will contains only report definition pbx file will contains report definition plus data right so when to use pbx file is to publish the reports from power bi desktop to power bi service pbx file format to move the file from one place to another place pb80 format 
there is another concept called template files guys with the help of parameters we can create a template files we can create the template files so let me explain what is the template files so <clears throat> let me close this to explain template files i don't want it so let's say um, we are doing the business in how many states means 49 different states we have each state have one manager guys each state have one sales manager each state have what one sales manager so i join in one company that company is asking to generate the reports for each state sales manager for new york state sales manager they're asking to generate one report in the report they're asking to show only new york data so they're asking to create another another report for texas sales manager texas sales manager in that report they are asking to show only which which state data texas state data so totally how many 49 states are there 49 managers are there i need to create 49 different reports in each report i need to show only one state data this time creating 49 reports will take time guys if you can utilize the template files we can create 49 reports in very less time let me explain how to do that first create a report for only one state manager first i'll create a report for only one state manager that is what new york state manager so i'll just so the client provided some source data to me client is asking to create some 49 different reports where i need to show for 49 different managers for that what i'll do is i'll just open one power bi desktop i'm trying to create the first report for new york sales manager new york sales manager i'll just go here go to transform data so i'll just bring the tables here click on excel d drive source files sample superstore just select orders peoples and returns table use first to as header right now i'll just click on close and apply so before we click on close and apply we are generating the report for which manager new york manager so so to generate the report for new york manager that report need to show which data means only new york data better what we can do is we can filter the data here on which column state column this time i will filter the data not based on a hard coded value i'll filter the data using a parameter how to create a state parameter so before creating a state parameter so there are a lot of state values right so better to create one query and going with query right so one way if you are fine if your client can enter the if you can enter the state names manually you can even go with which value any value or else go with any value no problem so i'm giving the parameter name as what state parameter state parameter and data type for state is what text we are going with any value new york just press okay and use this to filter the data in the order table i just want to load only new york data i'll go to the state column and just click on equals to and we'll filter based on state parameter okay it will it will load only new york data click on close and apply guys now it will load only new york data and we can start creating you can give the relationship and we can start creating the visuals when you start creating the visuals which state data it will show in the visuals new york data if required give any missing relationships here and then go to the report view you just start creating the visuals here i'll just start creating the visuals i'll just show quantity sales and profit i'll roughly create only few visuals it will just show only new york data guys profit and i'll just take one card visual and we'll just drag the state column so that which state data we are showing you can see which state data new york data right 
this you, when you create any visuals here it will show new york data why because the orders table contains what new york data will will create all the visuals what client is asking go to the format enable the borders also not borders So if, if required, you can create other visuals also. Go to the format, stop this type, uh, stop this one. Go to visual category label. We are showing new data. So you can start creating other visuals. Uh, you, you can even show other information like category wise sales, all this, year wise sales, all this. I'll roughly create few visuals here. Category wise sales, right. So we are done with creating the report for new york manager guys now i can just click on save i can publish i can share that report with whom new york manager so like that i need to create this kind of reports for how many different managers what in every time doing that will difficult it is difficult so when you want to create the second report you need to go to excel again you need to bring the data you need to filter the data for texas you need to load it you need to create the visuals again repeated work you need to do it so this time i will not repeat that work there is a feature called what template file so we can use it we can use this as a template file we are done with one report right that report we can use as a template and i can use it for creating other reports easily so when you click on save file save as we know that we can save the file as what pbx and pba this time i'll save it in as what PBA team, I will give this name as state report. We'll give this name as what? State report. And we will just save it. I'm saving it in where? Desktop, click on save. It will ask template definition. When you save the file as a template, it will ask template definition. So select any state. I'll write here. In in this, when you open this template file, we need to select one state there. Select any state. To see the report i'm just saving one template file guys just close this we already saved it just close this so already saved it right what is the name we given state report i'll just close this cancel close this don't save you created one template file template file guys now you can use this template file to create all your 49 reports with few clicks guys all your 49 reports with few clicks so first i need to create one report for texas sales manager for that you no need to go to excel you no need to bring the data to power query you no need to filter the data you no need to do the modeling you no need to create the visual only thing you need to do is you need to open the template file when you open the template file in the template file you will have what report definition using the report definition it will try to bring the data so in the template file you have a parameter what is the parameter you have state parameter select any state to see the report you can give one state here this time what texas when i give texas when i click on load it will load which data here texas data it will load texas data and in the report you will see texas related data go and check the report the report completely it will show texas related information guys it is showing texas related quantity sales profit right now you save this report in which format i want to publish this to power bi service i need to share it with the clients pbx so you can give the report name as texas report save it in the desktop and then publish it fine you close this now i need to create a report for washington managers what you need to do you no need to go and create a report again you just go to where template file state report template file open it when you open it it will ask to select one state select any state to see the state report this time i'll select which state washington just click on load in the report which data it will load now washington data then you can save it in the pbx format and you can publish it look at here so which data it is showing it will show is washington's data 
it is showing washington what is the quantity sales profit even in the table orders table which state data you will have which state data you have washington data right like this if you want to generate some report same kind of reports for different states or different regions or different categories so create one and save it as a template file use that for creating other reports so that you will save what time you'll save that so fine guys this is all about parameters pba file pbx file and template files we'll stop here we'll go with some questions now